Hi, I'm Macy and Zayed, and welcome to Advice You Don't Want to Hear, where I give students at Arizona State University advice they don't want to hear. But don't worry if you don't go to ASU, you can benefit from this advice too. Let's get started. Johnny, a communications major, asks, help, I keep procrastinating on assignments for school till the last minute. How do I get better? You gotta lie to yourself, Johnny. We lie to ourselves all the time. Lie to yourself. Tell yourself that things are due at totally different dates and times. But not dates and times after they're actually due. Dates and times before they're due. If it's due Wednesday at 3, tell yourself it's due Monday at 2. I can't tell time. So whenever I go to a really, really important appointment, I just lie to myself and tell myself that it's an hour earlier. If I have a 10 a.m. appointment, I will actually leave my house at 10 a.m. I don't ever budget time, and that doesn't work for live TV. Oh, look, we have a question from Molly, the film major. Molly asks, we all make drunk mistakes. How do I get my friends to forgive me? Speak for yourself, Molly. First of all, we don't all make drunk mistakes. And you should probably try to avoid getting drunk and making mistakes. But since it's too late for that, I need you to sincerely ask for forgiveness. Practice your apology and don't make any excuses. Don't blame it on the alcohol. Don't blame it on your parents. Take responsibility for your actions and apologize sincerely. For example, you would go up to your friend and say, Rebecca, I am sorry that I barfed repeatedly in your side of the closet. I will have all of your clothing dry cleaned, and for the next week, I will be your personal assistant. And remember, Molly, some mistakes can't be forgiven. So don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. Don't drug and drive. Because no matter how hard you say sorry, I have never seen the words I'm sorry resurrect someone from the dead, not even if they're being said by Justin Bieber. Mike, a master's in theater, asks, is there an app you prefer for navigating new cities? Yes, your feet. You are smarter than any smartphone, Mike, so just walk it out. Just start walking around the city, and when you see anything interesting, you walk in and you ask those people where you should go next. It's also important to check into all the big tourist sites before you go anywhere. Like, definitely do your research and avoid those places like the bird flu. Our bonus question comes from a totally different Molly who's a broadcasting major. She asks, what's your advice for meeting smart and funny guys? Hang out at comedy clubs, Molly, and avoid clowns and your cousins.